In a world rapidly defined by the pace of digital transformation and the rise of artificial intelligence, Ghana is stepping boldly into the future with a groundbreaking partnership that is set to change not just the face of the nation, but potentially reshape Africa's position in the global tech economy. On May 29th, 2025, in the bustling city of Accra, a landmark moment unfolded that signals a new era for innovation, development, and economic ambition. Ghana and the United Arab Emirates have signed a monumental $1 billion deal to establish the Ghana UAE Innovations and Technology Hub, Africa's largest and most ambitious innovation hub to date. Before we dive deeper into today's update, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support is key to helping us grow and reach more viewers like you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exciting updates. The significance of this agreement cannot be overstated. This isn't just another infrastructure project or a generic technology park. It's a visionary step forward, one that places Ghana at the forefront of Africa's digital revolution. This partnership, driven by the UAE's Ports, Customs, and Free Zone Corporation, known as PCFC, envisions the transformation of 25 square kilometers of land in Ningo Pram Pram into a dynamic ecosystem of artificial intelligence engineering, business process outsourcing, machine learning, and knowledge process outsourcing, all tailored to Africa's distinct data landscape and socioeconomic needs. This innovation district, once completed, will become a home for over 11,000 global companies under the PCFC umbrella. Imagine names like Microsoft, Meta, Oracle, IBM, and Alphabet, tech giants with a massive global presence, establishing regional headquarters or research and development centers in Ghana. This isn't just about buildings and fiber optic cables, it's about access, opportunity, and the positioning of Ghana as a central player in global innovation. At the core of this project lies a powerful message. Ghana is not content with catching up, it aims to lead. With a youthful, tech-savvy population and a government committed to digital transformation, the nation is laying the foundation for a digital future crafted by Ghanaians for Ghanaians. This hub will serve as a launch pad where local talent collaborates with global innovators to develop solutions that can be scaled and exported dat not only throughout Africa, but to the world. Financing the first phase of the $1 billion project entirely, the UAE's PCFC has shown strong confidence in Ghana's political and economic stability, as well as in the vision of the country's leadership. The government of Ghana, for its part, has committed land for the development, ensuring that the project has local ownership and strategic alignment with national goals. The collaboration is a true public-private partnership driven by mutual respect and a shared ambition for sustainable and inclusive development. The signing ceremony, attended by high-level officials from both Ghana and the UAE, was more than a formal agreement. It was a declaration of intent. Ghana's Minister of Communication, Digital Technology and Innovation, Samuel Nardi George, articulated this vision clearly, representing not only the digital future of the nation, but also his constituency of Ningo Pram Pram, where the hub will be situated. George emphasized that this project is deeply tied to the country's One Million Coders program, a flagship initiative designed to equip young Ghanaians with critical skills in artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, data protection, and digital governance. George's words resonated with a sense of urgency and hope. He described the initiative as a bold ambition grounded in mutual respect, underscoring that Ghana's youth should no longer need to seek opportunity abroad. They should find it in their own communities. This innovation hub is not just a place for work. It's a space for dreams to be realized, for ideas to be nurtured, and for creativity to be transformed into tangible outcomes. From a YouTube automation perspective, this kind of development is a content goldmine. It combines technology, global investment, national development, and human impact into one compelling narrative. Viewers are not just watching news unfold, they're witnessing history being written. And the beauty of it? Every minute of this transformation has the potential to generate ripple effects across industries, from education and manufacturing to logistics and e-commerce. The UAE's PCFC, led by the visionary Sultan Ahmed bin Sulaim, brings a wealth of experience in scaling innovative ventures. As the chairman of DP World, one of the largest logistics companies globally, 
Bin Sulaim understands the evolving nature of work in an AI-driven world. He noted that wealth today isn't defined by gold, oil, or even land, but by the ability to generate, implement, and scale ideas. He referenced Apple, a company that turned a vision into one of the most valuable enterprises in history, emphasizing that this kind of impact is possible through innovation and engineering. For Ghana, this isn't just about being a host. It's about being an active architect in building the digital economy of the future. Jobs are not being lost to automation. They're evolving. Roles are shifting from repetitive manual labor to positions that require critical thinking, strategic planning, and human-centric innovation. Ghanaian workers will transition from the margins of digital enterprise to its very core, managing smart systems, creating intelligent platforms, and engaging in high-level decision-making. The strategic location of the innovation hub in Ningo Pramprom also adds to its transformative potential. With global supply chains increasingly localized, Ghana stands to become a vital production and distribution hub for West Africa. This project creates the conditions for companies to not only operate within Ghana, but to thrive, manufacture, and ship goods efficiently to neighboring markets. That means new logistics networks, increased demand for skilled labor, and a stronger foundation for domestic industries to rise and compete globally. What's more, this venture signals to other African nations that there's a new model for growth, one that places human capital, digital infrastructure, and international collaboration at the center. The Ghana-UAE partnership is not just a one-off deal. It's a blueprint for the continent's future, a demonstration of how strategic alliances can unlock opportunities for millions and redefine a nation's trajectory. For young Ghanaians, this is a clarion call. The future is no longer a distant concept. It's being built right here, right now. Coding, data analysis, AI engineering, cybersecurity, these are not skills reserved for Silicon Valley elites. They are the new essentials, the tools that will drive Ghana's next chapter. And with the backing of both government and global tech leaders, the pathways into these careers are being paved. The Ghana UAE Innovations and Technology Hub will not just change how business is done in Ghana, it will change how the world sees Ghana. It will be a living showcase of what is possible when vision meets execution. A place where young people walk into a campus filled with labs, co-working spaces, AI studios, and R&D centers, not just to find jobs, just but to create companies, to solve real world problems, to innovate without boundaries. This is the start of a digital renaissance. One led by Ghanaians who believe that they can help shape the future, not just be consumers of it. One driven by partnerships that recognize Africa's potential, not as a passive market, but as a vibrant center of ideas, innovation, and solutions. It's about moving from aspiration to achievement. And for those watching this unfold, whether you're in Accra, Dubai, or anywhere around the world, this is a moment worth paying attention to. Because when a country decides to bet on its people, on its potential, and on its place in the digital economy, history has a way of rewarding that leap of faith. The Ghana UAE Innovations and Technology Hub is more than a project. It is a promise. A promise to future generations that they won't just inherit a developing country, but a developed one. One where dreams are not limited by geography or circumstance, but propelled by vision, opportunity, and the power of technology. Stay tuned. Because what's happening in Ghana is not just the building of a tech hub, it's the birth of something far bigger. A digital nation, a new frontier, a story that's only just beginning. And you'll want to be here to witness every chapter. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to the channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.